Are you the parent of a wild child? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> lots in the audience. I know, lots of yes. <laughs> well, we actually heard about a product available on Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop site that's flying off the shelves, promising to calm your kid by spraying a little mist around them. We had a few parents on our staff. They tried it out on their spirited kids. Here. Take a look. Hi, I'm Owen. This is Owen. He'll be three next month. He is your typical boy. Wow. He's loud. Wow. I'm a dinosaur. Here I'm coming from a mile away. Yeah. He's a ball of energy. This is my sweetie pie, Alexa Valentine. <laughs> and she's normally the sweetest little baby, Let's but lately we're having tantrums before bed. Let's go take a bath. No, I think it might just be because she's turning two in a couple months. Mommy. I wish it was just a little more peaceful during our bedtime routine. Honey, bedtime doesn't have to be this bad. I know that there's possible benefits of aromatherapy, but I will admit I'm a little skeptical. Hold on, I'm gonna spray you. Calm down. It smells like chocolate. There are crystals in the bottom of this. Fancy. Ready? Just gonna do this, right? What do you think? Oh. Mommy fish. You wanna put it in mommy's face? Mommy fish. Do you like it? Okay, I guess that's a thumbs up from our family. Okay, ready? Maybe I need this more than she does. Ah, oh, that's nice, thank you. Well, it definitely distracted her, so that's something. That was a cute video. So cute. The one thing that will help with children, and this is my humble opinion watching that tape piece, is when you distract a child, mm -hmm. they, and be, they become interested, and it could just be, look, you spray this, and look at that. That, that is cool for a kid. They, 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 you know, all of a sudden, it's whatever cool they were upset about is yeah. gone. It's cool for adults, too. Right. So, <laughs> and I'm a big fan. There's lavender, which we know lavender. <laughs> We actually I felt, myself, I felt myself getting ready to act out, so I... Uh, I would probably have my kids blow bubbles rather yes. than spend 30 bucks. On that? On, you know, because the first number of ingredients are, are sonically tuned water, rose water, grain alcohol, sea salt. Then there are some therapeutic grade oils. So there are good oils in here, but, nice. but 30 bucks... It's a lot. It seems, it's it's a lot of money. It's a lot easier than That's $30. Yeah, right. They can go outside and play. And you can teach some real coping skills, like yeah. blowing bubbles is actually one way to teach children how to do deep breathing, which is actually a great coping skill, even when you're adults, to try to have some self-regulation of your emotions. And there's a bunch of other types of tips, too, that don't cost any money, mm -hmm. like having minimized distractions when you have little kids. You know, mm -hmm. you don't go to the dinner table with the TV still on, lots mm -hmm. of different things to their sensory input. You really want to have them focus focus on one task at a time, give them plenty of time outside, give them that time where they get to be wild. Sometimes I do feel like our younger kids, they're expected to sit in the classroom as long as some of us are expected to work as adults, and that's not right. We well, need and to give also, them we, we all remember being kids and reasoning with the child who's been sitting in one position and starting to, to maybe get excitable, it doesn't really work. Exactly. I, I will say the one thing about these distraction techniques, whether it's a, a spray or what, you know, bubbles, is it really does. It, it takes the attention away from any frustration <laughs> yeah. and it's yeah. just, it really is, it's a distractor. So that's why Drew and I use this every day. Yeah. Or, or, <laughs> just, or just create a game situation like, let's play Simon Says, Simon Says, quiet now. Right, exactly. <laughs> hey, you know what? Kids love games, so you they got do, a point they there. They do, uh, Simon Says, we're gonna go outside now. Yep. And it's interesting to me also that now we're seeing these connections between potentially ADHD, poor sleep, poor sleep, yeah. ADHD. You know, maybe there's something to this deep breathing, relaxation techniques mm. with kids, better sleep, less, uh, less likely to act up.